If you're looking to go fishing in Alabama and you're not sure where to get started, you've come to the right place. Famous for both its freshwater and saltwater fishing, the heart of Dixie will give you a true taste of what fishing in the South is all about. After all, one of the state's many nicknames is the Red Snapper capital of the world. Home to some of the finest reef fishing on the planet, there's so much to love about the local angling scene. In fact, you can easily fish here all year round if you know what to look for. And that's where we come in. In this video, we'll give you a rundown of everything that's going on in the waters of the Yellowhammer State. You'll know what to fish for, where to go fishing, and most importantly, when the best time to head out is based on what you're targeting. By the time we're done, you'll want to grab your gear and head down to the Gulf Coast for some world-class fishing. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to give us a like and subscribe below. To start with, it's only fair we talk about the lakes and rivers since that's where you'll find Alabama's prized state fish, largemouth bass. It's one of those fish that'll turn a casual angler into a fishing fanatic overnight, so it's easy to see the appeal. And if you're already a bass enthusiast, then you can check out one of the many bass tournaments that take place on different lakes all over Alabama. Another great thing about largemouth bass is that you can target them at any time of year thanks to the state's suitable climate. But if you really want to give it your best shot, we'd recommend late winter or spring. That's when the lakes really get going. Speaking of lakes, let's take a look at some of the most popular places for freshwater fishing in Alabama. At the very top, we have Lake Guntersville, one of the world's most famous bass fisheries. Other productive fishing destinations include Wheeler Lake, Pickwick Lake, as well as Lake Martin. Besides largemouth bass, you can also look forward to freshwater favorites like smallmouth and striped bass too. That about covers it for the freshwater side of things. Next up, we have Alabama's ever popular inshore fishery. So don't go anywhere just yet. Inshore fishing is the pillar of the local chartering business in Alabama and a familiar sight to anyone who's fished the Gulf before. Full of redfish, trout, sheep's head, and many others, you can have a fun time inshore whenever you want. But if you ask us, we'd recommend late spring and early fall for some great rod bending action. While reef fishing tends to steal the spotlight in Alabama, inshore trips can be just as fun and rewarding. A good place to start is the mouth of the Perdido River. You can either fish from shore or hop on a charter boat and head straight into the thick of it. Expect to see redfish, delicious flounder, and a lot of speckled trout, one of America's favorite light tackle fish. Mobile, Alabama's only saltwater port city, is another perfect destination for all your inshore fishing needs. With its record-breaking bull reds, you'll have an absolute blast here at any time of year. Fun for newbies and pros alike, it's a great way to spend a day together with your friends or family. But if you really want to kick things into high gear, be sure to keep watching to find out where even bigger fish are hiding. Thanks to more than 17,000 reefs in state waters, reef fishing brings in thousands of anglers each year from all over the country. But why is that? For starters, that's where you'll find the hugely popular red snapper, the tastiest fish you can catch this side of the Gulf. Since snapper season usually opens up in June, summer is the ideal time to hit the reefs every year. But don't worry if you miss out on the snapper action, as there are plenty of other fish in the sea. In that case, you'll be going after species like amberjack and gag grouper. And if you're really lucky, you might run into the odd blue mark. Doesn't matter if you're in it for the sport or maybe just a good dinner at the end of the day, there's something here for everyone. And if you're itching for a trophy catch, you'll definitely want to hit the oil rigs. The fish there are massive and well worth the trip. You can head to the rigs from a lot of places including Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, Fort Morgan, or Dauphin Island. The best time to do it is the tail end of the summer, but you're good to go anytime as long as you avoid the cold winter months. The yeah, Orange Beach has uh, the largest uh, reef program, man-made reef program in the world. And I think a lot of people know that. And a lot of people who come down here don't have a clue. But there's about 3,000 reefs out here that are man-made. They're public reefs and they're great places for fish to habitat. Uh, little fish start and the big ones follow. Other than that, we've got great natural bottom or it's rocky bottom. We've got coral heads. Uh, we go out about uh, 40 miles and we go to the edge. And the edge is where the Gulf of Mexico used to be. It's a sharp drop off. There's boulders, uh, 40, 50 foot boulders up from the bottom, uh, holding grouper, all kinds of jacks and snappers galore, and as well as pelagics such as tuna, wahoo, king mackerel, and so forth. So we, we've got a little bit of everything from minnows to marlin, that's what I call it. And they're all out there. It's just a matter of going out and catching some. Not too shabby for the state with the shortest coastline in the Gulf. To get in on the action yourself, all you have to do is find a charter boat that's got what you're looking for. 
Just don't forget, you'll need to get your own fishing license if you want to fish in freshwater. On the other hand, licensed saltwater charters will have that covered for you. For more info, check out our previous video on getting an Alabama fishing license in the description below. And speaking of charter boats, Fishing Booker is here to help you save time, money, and nerves when booking a trip online. We've got the largest selection of fishing charters in Alabama, the most verified reviews, and the best price guarantee, all to make sure you get the best possible deal. So check out the local charters at fishingbooker.com and start planning your trip today.